Welcome back to the Sim Project, everybody. Just sitting here in the Honda Jet cruising along at uh, fillet level 430 across Thailand, heading for Paro. Yeah, um, last video, triple screens. I'm slowly starting to get stuff dialed in. I'm going to do, once I do, I'm going to do a whole video on that. And this is not actually what that video is uh, about right now. This video is about something else. This is, is something I'm working on and been at this for a couple months now. YouTube tells me that, you know, I should try and upload a video once a month just to keep their systems happy. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. Let me take you upstairs into the uh, workshop and I'll show you what's uh, on the printers right now. That is a collective for a helicopter. Uh, 3D printed, got these plans off 737 DIY SIM. I'll put a link uh, in the description down below. Um, yeah, this has been quite the uh, adventure so far. Probably, probably 40 hours of actual physical me working on this. Um, probably 150, 160 hours worth of printer time just to print this. Because as you can see, everything is all 3D printed. And uh, I mean, that's half inch thick, half inch thick, half inch thick, all kinds of little pieces down and below. So yeah, there is a lot of print to go into this. Um, the main shaft is actually carbon fiber. Um, bought that off of Amazon. It was actually in uh, listed as for building like hobby drones. Got two um, one meter chunks of it for like $12 or something like that. Uh, it was pretty cheap, I was impressed. Um, resin printed this. Now none of it's backlit. Uh, I did uh, resin print it in white and then uh, spray painted it black. Took the file and took some of the uh, paint off to try and make the number or the lettering show a little better. I don't know if you can see that in there. I've uh, forgot to print this hat too, like that one. I gotta run that off next time. I got black in the printer that's available doing something. So yeah, so that's a cyclic, and uh, the reason why there's so many parts and stuff to this thing is it's actually got force feedback. Like, let me see if you can hear that. There's a little stepper motor in there, similar to the stepper motors that run your uh, 3D printers and stuff. But yeah, a little stepper motor in there, uh, gives you some force feedback feel. Um, there's a, you know, you pull the, the trigger on this and that disables the motor so you can just let everything run free and loose. But that is the uh, collective. The cyclic is almost done. Here's the, uh... so there's the handle so far. Again, resin printed this. Now, unfortunately, my resin printer won't print. You know, it is a two-piece part. It's got a left and right sides. Uh, my resin printer won't quite print. It is one salt piece, so I did have to split it. And you can see that split line right there. And on this side, and had to, I had to glue that. It's not perfect. There's no bolt in here right now either. That's why the gap is so big right there. Wasn't perfect, unfortunately, but I did start printing it on the 3D printer and the uh, the resin print even though i had to split the pieces so much nicer quality so much nicer print um but yeah as you can see there's quite the tail of wires hanging out of that um so far i've used in the two pieces probably 180 feet of cable um i'm not sure where there it is my roll of wire that i started with was brand new it was 250 foot roll and you can see that spool is uh, getting pretty empty but yeah, I got some more wiring stuff to finish up with this, put an interface box in the front of it, get all that done. Um, the cyclic, let me spin you around to the printer. Both 3D printers are in here running away right now. That's the main body that uh, all the assembly for the cyclic drops into to give you your left and right and uh, forward and back. That's been on the printer so far, 23 hours and 43 minutes. I think total print time was uh, 29 and a half hours. So, you know, it's still got uh, still got five hours plus to go on that one. And then we'll come over to the other printer over here, the Ender 3, and it's printing the uh, the rear mount that holds the uh, hall sensor for position for uh, left to right, I believe, on that one. And what's that one been going for? That one's been going for almost four hours and it's got, it says it's got 13 hours to go. It'll actually get a lot thinner here in the minute once it starts building up a little higher. Build time on that was about uh, 14 hours in total, it said. So 
So that's the uh, quick update on what is going on in the sim right now. Now, I started this video off showing you three screens and flying a Honda jet. I've always been a fan of helicopters in, in real life. I've been in a couple myself personally. Um, my other channel, Adventures on Tour, we actually did a helicopter tour in Alaska on a cruise we were on a couple years ago. I'll put a link to that video right here above my head and in the description if you want to check that out on my other channel. So yeah, I've always been a big fan of helicopters. VR, and I've had a couple of videos of my VR headset I've got. VR is phenomenal for flying helicopters. And, and I, I was gonna build this before I got VR and then I started seeing some of the pass-throughs and it's really accelerated me to push even more to get this because like I said, I, I love flying helicopters. So much more going on. Uh, you've got both feet going, you've got both hands going. VR just gives you that whole sense of motion, so it's really easy, well, really easy to be able to land and maneuver far better than what it is just looking at a computer screen. So yeah, so we're gonna get those together. Um, probably part two of this video, little video series I'll make. Should have both of them done and uh, connected. And I'm not gonna get into the in-depth build and programming of these. I will put a link in the description for uh, Carl's site. For 737 DIY sim he's did like four videos on this each video is pretty close to an hour long so he's got like you know three and a half almost four hours of information how the system works how to program it how to build it and yeah he is a, uh, a licensed helicopter mechanic in the UK so he for like the last 25 years or so he says so he knows his way around helicopters and he understands and and yeah this this just looks like it's gonna take flying helicopters to a whole new level as much as VR has. So, yeah, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for uh, checking it out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.